About a month ago, I quit my job and hopped on a plane to London for the weekend. This trip marks the ending of a chapter and the beginning of a new one, and I'm so grateful I got to share these moments with these incredible women. I'm back! It's quarter past five, so I'm actually gonna leave in about five minutes to go pick up this dinner! Cut to us! together mm. London cold <laughs> hello hello <laughs> yay made it <laughs> This trip was full of books and gifts. Rav and I had gifted each other a book. She got me Come As You Are by Emily Nagovsky, which is a non-fiction book about women's sex health, written by a sexologist. And I got her The Art of Raising in the Rain by Gar Stein, which is an amazing book about life and how it's fleeting yet infinite. Oh yeah, now let's eat and yeah, watch. Let's eat and watch Drive to Survive. Yeah. Should I throw these away? This is cute, I want to keep this. <laughs> <laughs> Let's go. We're going to Swift. Swift again. <laughs> <laughs> it's so cold and it's in the middle of nowhere. Okay, good. Let's go. What time is it? It's like half two. <laughs> half past two in the morning. <laughs> and we're having chicken nuggets. <laughs> and wedges. Whoops. So we're just leaving. How do you feel? So sad. It was so good. It oh my gosh. Oh my it's God. amazing. We're surprisingly not late. Just about, I think. <laughs> if I can get the directions right. Yeah, we're not lost, we're not late. We met up with Chris, Chloe, Holly and Asia at a pub in Greenwich where we exchanged gifts as we had organised a secret Santa type of thing where we each got someone to gift a book or a jelly cat to. Ravni was my secret Santa and she got me Love and Other Words by Christina Lauren. We then watched the first F1 race of the season. <laughs> got embarrassed by Chris standing up for the Dutch national anthem and then we explored Greenwich and of course bookstores. Of course. <laughs> it is 11 p.m. snack time. 11.30. Midnight snack, well, pre midnight snack. We've come out, right? Hello. Hello. <laughs> we have a curly haired head curling her hair with a curler. My hair looks very strange. Nice. Nice and curly still, look how pretty! I feel like everyone who has straight hair wishes they had curly hair. Because it's so pretty. And today we're meeting Han and Jenny. So excited! We're excited! And we're going to F1 Arcade! This one's excited about going on the simulator! So much so she woke me up. <laughs> With you, sorry, your alarm had already gone off. Yeah, I'm such a... Not a morning person. Right, so we got the F1 arcade. And then we got St. Paul's Cathedral. Right there. <laughs> and we got Rebney. Very much in Central. We got a wild Rebney. In the wild. <laughs> in London. Can you imagine that? The 
Typhoon Arcade was definitely the most fun but also physically demanding activity of the weekend. We were split into two teams, me, Asia and Anna in Ferrari, and then Rav, Holly and Jenny in AlphaTauri. We took turns in racing against each other. It was so difficult and could definitely be counted as a full body workout, but it has so much fun from being turned upside down on track, channeling our inner Ferrari engineers. Who won? Um, we are checking. Uh, well, yeah, it was hard at times, but we came through in the end. We had better days, but we will do this. We are clowning for life. <laughs> Thank you. The rally turned out, we won. We <laughs> and now we're going to see Hannah play lights out. Try and play lights out. We're going to, we're going to be your cheer team. My mom's a bug inside a tree My dad's a scientist who captured her we then went for lunch at a Mexican restaurant called Oaxaca and Holly decided to bite into a chili pepper for some reason <laughs> After lunch we met up with Chris and Chloe again in Marleybone and went, guess where? Into bookstores When you go in there you should show the downstairs floor thing. Look, if you go downstairs, you can just sing into the another one. Yeah, it's nice, isn't it? People, we have shouting and so on. I don't like that. I feel like I have to whisper. This New York one. Oh, that's cute. There's oh, a it's London actually one. cute. There's a London one. It's pink. Hi. She's it. You're it. Are oh, you getting the second one? Hi. What we have here is a science experiment. <laughs> a childhood friend of mine also came to join us. She's a physio and she decided to use me as her guinea pig, but I kept laughing. I ended the evening in this magical weekend by making carbonara with Rav and having some floor time and gossip session. The definition of girlhood, if you ask me. So I don't understand why this is so funny, but I went and looked at her Instagram profile and I decided that she is indeed free on Thursday. <laughs> I choked on my carbonara, but it was so funny because you were like, <laughs> let me just, one minute, <laughs> scroll, scroll, looked at a couple of pictures, yeah, you're free on Thursday. <laughs> I was at the six, I thought there were four. Oh my God, this is getting better every minute. Should we have left them for a bit? Or should we leave them? For what? To cool? Or should they just be... Shall we just try? I mean, they're a bit frozen. On the thumbnail. On the thumbnail. This is so funny. <laughs> <laughs> and it's scary job. Okay, well... Girlhood. Girlhood! Girl dessert! <laughs> <laughs> Microwave? <laughs> Let's go! <laughs> Thank you to everyone who contributed to make this weekend unforgettable. I love you and I miss you all more than words can explain. There are a couple of them are still. <gasps> no, Lewis, Lewis is out. Okay, he's on another lap. He's on another lap. Oh my gosh, he's on another lap. I thought he'd literally been kicked out of Q1. Oh my god, my heart. I've heard there's like a pretty park, which we didn't see yesterday, but we went to the Greenwich Pier. I was going to say Pierre. <laughs> Pierre. Pierre Gasly. Pierre Gasly. I give you full permission to kill Pierre. 